Now let's watch these cars. You're seeing a lot of distracted driving. It's a great eye-opener to see what people are distracted by. A couple intersections didn't have um, crossing signs. They have signs for a reason. It's a pretty dangerous situation out there. Today's teens find a variety of ways to get around, and while they have access to numerous driver safety programs as they prepare to get their licenses, there is not much to really help them understand how to read the entire roadway system and understand how everyone who uses roads needs to see the bigger picture. What we want to do is help you, train you, get you ready to be able to read the road. Some of America's leading traffic safety organizations are working to change this by conducting teen roadway safety assessments, also known as RSAs, to help students examine how safety is affected not only by driver behaviors, but also by how the design, signing, and pavement markings, and other aspects of roadway infrastructure, all contribute to their overall safety. Teens are particularly vulnerable to roadway dangers, and each year, thousands of teens die in car crashes. Although distraction and poor decisions are critical factors, they are often compounded by teens' inexperience and their inability to react to roadway conditions. We're actually teaching teens about the roadway and how important the roadway safety infrastructure is. There are a lot of examples that we can give about signage and markings and median cable barrier that you know, save lives, prevent people from crossing over you know, from one side of the roadway to the other, educating people that these devices are life-saving devices that can be installed on the roadway. This gives you a chance to apply the math skills, the science skills, a lot of civics. One of the things that I found great is a lot of these kids are interested in communications and media. Being able to be out there and poised and being able to share their views is tremendous. This program has really opened up some eyes today. They never thought about a career uh, in the engineering or transportation, so I love it. The success of the initial teen roadway safety assessments has led to a call for taking the program nationwide. Organizers of the initial RSA events encourage others in the traffic safety community to get involved with this groundbreaking program. It's an easy formula to replicate on the local level, and your sponsorship of a teen RSA can bring a host of benefits. But it's really up to other people at the grassroots level working hard every day to bring about those changes in the education in transportation safety. So let's see, it says time remaining to finish crossing. This is a very highly trafficked area and that we need a lot of improvement, especially with the markings on the ground for where people are supposed to cross. Some people don't always pay attention to them and how we need brighter lights on the sign so that people can become more aware so that they can see when people are supposed to cross, when they're not supposed to cross, and when they should be driving. I think exposing the teens to infrastructure and helping them understand that that's part of the pyramid for their safety and what they're hearing on the news locally about infrastructure here in Georgia, that it's not not just on the interstates, it's in their local communities where infrastructure is just as important. And as a community member, they can play a role as being observant of the highway safety infrastructure needs and advocate for change where they need to. It makes them better drivers, it makes them more aware of what is around them, and it contributes to the overall safety of roads in Georgia. And we're glad to have FCCLA's national leadership here today to participate in this and with the, with the Alpharetta High School FCCLA chapter. RSAs allow parents, teachers, elected officials, and community leaders to help improve roadway safety, particularly for our teens. Ultimately, this program is about keeping our teens safe. You can be part of making that happen and making a difference in students' lives. Bottom line is, I believe in my heart, we saved some lives today. I feel like this should be in other schools too.